Ooh, that hurts. Dead. Wow. Okay. Something here hurts. Oh, and it's a five pack. Great.
And you like come back in. some blues and a conduit. I'll see with my condi. Another set of blues. Nice. This is looking good. Got some trash before I hit it though. Fine to go in. I will go next. Vengeance. Maybe here. My vengeance. Crash pool. A good follow up. Uh, okay. Pools of agony. Pretty mobs. See how we go. Wormhole. They can have uh, trash here. Trash anywhere is the problem. Not productive. I'm still here. Yeah, maybe there's enough slashes to get some progress.
here. Nice pool, Enchantress. Guardian, back there. Bloody hell. Okay. Can deal. A couple of arcane beans under my feet. It's all good, right? You just knocked me back into arcane. That's a bit rude. That's a nice Oki spawn. Okay guys, I got this. Gee. Whew. Yes. Hello. Hey. Twenty three that was. I'm going to do a gear and build check. Running Legacy of Dreams. Legacy of Dreams now. Uh, rapid fire. So, running, firstly, Legacy of Dreams gem. Uh, max level, rank 99 there. Um, which is what's giving me a lot of the power. So let's go through. Is our Dragoons running Dexterity, Critical Hit Chance, and Rapid Fire damage it is primal. Every piece is augmented from about 126 to about 139 with Dexterity. Syndicate here for, for that Fire Skill Damage boost primarily. Um, fire Skill Damage Dex fit on those. Can't recall if I can get Skill Damage on those. Hellcat Waste Guard, Dex, Fit, Resist All Percent Life, and Grenades Bouncing 5 times up to 800% on that final bounce. Swamp Land Waders, Witch Doctor Item, so running those with Fire Skill Damage Intelligence because they're from Witch Doctor Vitality and Regen Life. Illusory Boots, Dex, Fit, Resist All, and Rapid Fire Damage on those. Mantle of Channeling, Dex, Fit, Area damage and cooldown are pretty much the roles you want there. 
Mage Fist. I've got these as Dex, Critical Hit Damage, Critical Hit Chance, and Cooldown. Uh, it would be nice to have Area Damage as well, but um, I'm not quite that lucky. Nemesis Braces. Fire School Damage, Dex, Vitality, and Critical Hit Chance is what you want on those. Okay. Jewelry Slots. I'm running a Hellfire. Fire skill damage, crit hit damage, crit hit chance is what you want. I'm running numbing trap, so keep that in mind when I look at my passives later. Convention of elements. Uh, I've got critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and a damage roll on that. Ideally, you'd probably want a area damage or something instead. Uh, unity. This is pretty well rolled. Critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and increased damage against elites on that primal there. Weapons, running Dawn here. Um, I've got Dexterity, Attack Speed, and Area Damage on that, but instead of the Attack Speed, you might want like a Percent Damage Roll or something like that on there. Importantly, you want the Orange stat on this to be as high as possible. Reduce the cooldown of Vengeance by up to 5%. And Sin Seekers. Again, this is somewhere I could have more Area Damage. So Dexterity, Vitality, Attack Speed, Critical Hit Chance, and Cooldown is what I have. But instead of it, I would love some Area Damage. Again, the orange set is important here, as close to 300% as possible. In my cube, running Wajani Assaulter for the rapid fire increased damage, um, and they're the stacks, so you need to not move. I recommend four standstill every time you're standing somewhere. Aquila Caress, uh, because rapid fire does not cost resource while channeling, you're pretty much always above 90% hatred. So you're getting that damage reduction and you can see here this build is really tough. And elusive ring. Also for toughness you can pretty much choose whether you wear elusive ring um, or convention of elements. Is really the pick there. Wear one, put the other in the cube. Okay, legendary gems. Already mentioned legacy of dreams. Critical to the build. That's what's giving me all my damage. Obviously you can run this with running the legacy of nightmares rings instead. Um, Bane of the Stricken, this is at rank 145, helping build up the damage on the elites and the boss. And Bane of the Track, increasing damage against those under control impairing effects. Paragon. So this is my non-season. I'm talking about 4,864 Paragon. I have all points in utility, all points in defense, all points in offense. In core, I have all points in hatred, all points in movement speed, and this is a really tough build, so I have the rest of my points here in dexterity. Quick look at the skill screen. Running Vengeance Side Cannons, Rapid Fire, Bombardment, Caltrops, Bait the Trap, Shadow Power, Gloom, Smoke Screen, Vanishing Powder, Companion Wolf Companion, and passives awareness grenadier car the week tactical advantage and as mentioned before running hellfire with my numbing traps passive so i've got five passives going on there I am returning to task. okay let's show the clothes well greater rift 123 down in patch 2.6.6 non-season. Thank you very much for watching and GG!